Rupert Lawrence and Ricardo Chambers feeling privileged to be part of this special occasion. Had a chance to pick the brains of uh, Tonique and Chris Brown, the fireman, on um, how to do everything in track and field and been a time to learn as usual. Barbados in lane number eight, Bermuda in seven, British Virgin Islands in six. Lane number five, Team Grenada. Grenada in lane number five, yes, they turn up for the under 20s. Bahamas in four. St. Kitts and Nevis in lane number two. The Jamaicans in three. This is a fantastic team. Smith Band, Roshan Clark, and Delano Kennedy all have run this year. Under 46 seconds. And running out of lane number one, Team Trinidad and Tobago. Again, your line up for the final. Last year, this was a fine race. The red and blacks bearing down on the green and golds in Kingston. In the end, Kennedy, who's on duty again, took care of business. Has a gold medal in the 4x100 meters on the third leg last night. And here, Silva in the 400, just missed the defense of his title. Just one of Dennis's teammate up running down the stretch. And the Bahamians with the Bahamian swag getting set to run the 4x4. The history in the 4x4 is as rich as anybody in the Caribbean. We have Olympic titles and the, the men, the third fastest nation of all time. 256.72. Next on the list, Jamaica 256.75. Grenada. Their great hero, Kirani James. Had Candel Rondell Bartholomew when James came up, but injuries took Bartholomew out of the game. And, uh, they're hoping and waiting to put together another great 4x4 team with a chance to win gold medals. There's the lineup. Trinidad and Tobago, St. Kitts and Nevis, Jamaica, Bahamas, Grenada, British Virgin Islands, Barbados. The board for the finals of the under 20 men's four by four. The final event of this exciting Oak Tree Medical Center. 50th Corinthian Games 2023. This will be thrilling from the start to the finish. We hope that you've enjoyed yourself at these games and thank you for coming and visiting with us here in Nassau, the Bahamas at the Thomas A. Robinson Stadium. Jasona Dennis leading off for the Jamaicans. As a reminder, we're going to invite you to again to just check out the cultural village before you leave the stadium. Kill some time. Don't get caught up in the traffic. The cultural village and all the vendors will be right there waiting for you. Cyril Sumner will lead off the Trinidad and Tobago team. Silver last year before before some now. Dennis, the four hundred champion here to get the Jamaicans going. They are looking for something fast. Off they go. Final race of Carifta 50. It's the 4x4 four for four on the 20 boys. Barbados flying on the outside. Jamaica moving steadily. Grenada flying through the first 200 meters in lane number five. Jasona Dennis 
ranging up for Jamaica in lane number three, the 400 champion. Down the stretch they come. Grenada, Barbados. Jamaica with Dennis coming through now. Here they come to the first change. And the Jamaicans change just behind the Grenadians. But they search to the lead Jamaica with the 400 hurdles champion, Roshan Clark. This Jamaican team is very, very good. 47.4 for Dents on the first leg. And Roshan Clark is flying 15, 20 meters in front. Man better for the silver medal. Barbados in second. Grenada there. The Bahamas there. Trinidad and Tobago there. The Jamaicans out front. All alone like they have been in all the 4x4s tonight. Roshan Clark, second fastest time in Carifta history at 400 hurdles to win the gold medal. And pours it on down the home stretch as the Jamaicans lead ahead of Grenada and Trinidad and Tobago. 45 bait for Clark, and this is the last year, last year's 400 champion, Delano Kennedy. World on the 20 finalist at this event as well. Kennedy took the silver medal here, beaten by Jasona Dennis. The championship record 3 0 5 6 to 8. The Jamaicans could threaten that here with Kennedy having the lead. Grenada running a terrific race as well. They are in second position and gaining on the Jamaicans with Trinidad and Tobago in third. Delana Kennedy steps on the gas down the home stretch. Grenada still holding second. Trinidad and Tobago third. Bahamas back in fourth. Kennedy hands off in front for Jamaica. 46 9 for Kennedy. The Jamaicans front-loading their team. Down the back straight away, they go for this final leg. Still Jamaica by 10 to 15 meters. Grenada in second, Trinidad and Tobago in third. The Bohemians trying to make a mad rush. But it's Jamaica well clear in the 4 by 400 down the stretch they come Malik Smith man cruising down the home stretch Trinidad and Tobago into silver medal position but the Jamaicans close Carifta 50 in style they sweep the 4 by 4 relays Malik Smith man takes them home Trinidad and Tobago gets the silver they say thank you very much to Bahamaland 307 68 for the Jamaicans, Trinidad and Tobago with another silver. And Grenada with a terrific broad 309.97 for the Trinbagonians. Anchored by Nathan Pummer, about the 800 champion. And the Grenadians uh, uh, find third place run, 310.59. Terrific run by the Grenadians. Held silver for a long time in that race, but cover back with a brilliant anchor for Trinidad and Tobago. But the Jamaicans were not to be denied. Jasona Dennis, the 400 champion, handing off to Russian Clark, the 400 hurdles champion, to Delana Kennedy, the fastest of them all over 400 meters, to the 200 champion, Malik Smith Band. That was an unstoppable four. In good conditions at the Pan Am Juniors. Maybe the Jamaican junior record could be under threat. 303.79. Great battle for second. This is the anchor leg. Malik Smith found the 200 champion. Comfortable and cruising on the anchor leg. A battle. And the 800 champion, Nathan Cumberbatch, puts the Red and Blacks into second for good at the very end. Bay 2, break 310. Disappointing for the Bohemians to be left out of the medals in the very final race of the games. But the Jamaicans dance and sing and cheer and celebrate a 307 68 victory at 4x4 to close Carif to 50. Trinidad and Tobago takes silver at 309 97. Grenada with the bronze medal at 310.59.
and certainly the track the Bahamian team they've done so much to make this a memorable 50th Caribbean Games 